when you go shopping for a, a new car battery you might notice uh, these uh, ratings on the battery uh, on the top sometimes in the, in the manual or in the in the books or in the guide uh, or most likely on the battery but usually the right these things here is a, a real battery and you can see on the top it says part number CCA which is called cranking amps RC reserve capacity and um, vendor code you don't have to worry about and there is a part number also this is will be applied to per vehicle um, today I'm just gonna talk to you about the most uh, things you need to pay attention to when you buy a, a new battery as you see here it says um, the part number it's the part number nothing to explain here 12 volts a 12 volt battery and the uh, cold cranking amps here at zero Fahrenheit 775 and uh, reserve capacity 120 minutes and the 20 hour rating uh, 55 amp uh, an hour I'm gonna come uh, I'm gonna explain in a little bit what those uh, rating means and you can see here's another battery it says group size 24F cold cranking amps 750 and there's another battery 850 cold cranking amps and the group size 65 um, so generally speaking um, these are ratings the most common rating and I in my opinion I will be most likely concerned about the cold cranking amps and the reserve capacity um, this one here RC 120 minutes those very important for me that's why they have them in one box those very important to pay attention to uh, I'm gonna explain to you uh, in some details what everything means here so cold cranking amps and uh, RC or reserve capacity are the most you need to pay attention to when buying a new battery of course there are other things besides rating you need to take in consideration such as long warranty um, name brand and uh, etc uh, however you should start with the vehicle specification uh, and follow manufacturer recommendation for your car or truck uh, you start with this um, every car have its own battery it has its own size it has whether top terminal or side terminal usually on the side um, sometimes the positive on, uh, on this side sometimes the negative on this side or vice versa positive here negative here um, keep uh, this is will very much when you buy a battery it will uh, the auto part store or the guide when if you go to any store you're buying your own if you pick your own you're gonna see if once you put your car information it's gonna tell you um, generally speaking the higher uh, these ratings are uh, the more expensive the battery the the higher the CCA and the higher the RC the more expensive the battery okay this is 100, 100 minute and this is 525 amps they go 850 uh, 725 750 they, they go higher and higher they go a thousand sometimes uh, it depends on uh, application so I'm um, gonna explain to you just a little bit what this mean so anyway car and truck batteries are labeled in group size uh, like uh, AD 4, 40R 24 24F 27 etc like I just say it here it says 24F this is a group size 65 um, so this is very much what this means um, this is a group size defined by a something called or a company called BCI or institution called BCI which is Barry Council International they group size every car uh, based on the car so the car group uh, size refer to the terminal a group size uh, I'm sorry the terminal location whether positive or negative it's like I just explained to you if this is here or this is or negative here or positive here uh, <clears throat> So, and sometimes like it's a top terminal, a side terminal uh, a position and best physical dimension uh, fit on your car. So sometimes this is wider or deeper or different height. So just keep this in mind. Those, those 
very much when you buy them from the auto part store or you you look at the guide is is this whatever battery they're gonna give you is will fit uh your car the dimension of the battery and the uh, best held uh, down on 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 a vehicle uh, so group size will confirm best fit and a properly held down battery however there are guides there is a guide provided to you from where you buy your battery like i said to best fit your car so again you will see cca rc you will see um ampere hour 55 amp rc again cca those are the one you have to be attention to so ca they don't have it here sometimes they tell you ca not cca only ca without the first c that's cranking amps so cranking amps um it is very much how many amps a battery can provide for 30 seconds at 32 fahrenheit but it still provide no less than 7.2 volt for a 12 volt battery again cranking amps not cca the cranking amps only with this with the only ca it is it means it it what it does it's how it is very much explained into this how many amps a battery can provide for 30 second at 32 fahrenheit degrees or 32 degrees uh, fahrenheit but it still provide no less than 7.2 volt for 12 volt battery so the cca on another hand it's uh, the cold cranking amps <clears throat> This is very much for the cold weather when the when the weather is cold. So this is measures how many amps a battery can provide at zero degrees Fahrenheit, not at thirty, at zero degrees Fahrenheit for thirty seconds. So with in a colder temperature, the higher the cranking amps, the better the battery. <clears throat> Again, this means battery will with higher cold cranking amps will start your vehicle stronger and faster in cold temperature. So you need to consider uh, this if you live in a cold climate. Never go below OEM to start with anyway. But if you live in a cold climate, go with a higher number. Okay, 525 sometimes it's not good if you are under minus uh, 10 degrees or 20 degrees. It's probably going to be hard. Even if it's a brand new battery, it might hard to start your car. Everything will be cold. The oil will be very much frozen or cold. Uh, the bars will be called they will move very slow and you need really good cranking amps to move these parts the cranks have to spin faster the starter have to spin faster you need to just give it a boost it's like pushing somebody to wake up in the morning you have to hit, hit, shake him hard uh, now the RC the reserve capacity this is rated usually in minutes sometimes you see 90 you see 60 you see 110, 120, whatever it's, it's now in this case, this is 100 uh, minutes. Uh, this means it's the ability of the battery. This is the ability of the battery to deliver continuous current of 25 amps at 80 degrees Fahrenheit without falling below 10.5 volt for a 12 volt battery. Okay, so the higher this number, the better. If you leave your car uh, sitting with the lights on, uh, you have the radio on while the car is, uh, while the engine is off, this is, will give you more time to drain this battery. So you're not going to drain it in, in after you leave, you leave your lights on for like, let's say, five minutes uh, based on, uh, on a specific amps uh, drainage, like which is 25 amps, it's going to drain your battery very fast. Reserve capacity is the energy stored in the battery. Okay, again, this rating, it is the ability of the battery to deliver continuous current of 25 amps at 80 degrees Fahrenheit without falling below 10.5 volt for a 12 volt battery. The higher this rating, the better again. So higher cranking amps, higher RC, 
it, you're gonna see the difference in the price on a car same battery sometimes uh, same terminal for the same car but those numbers go higher the, the price will go higher so in another word if you live um, if you if you left your lights on while the car is off or ignition on uh, the radio on higher RC will keep enough voltage for the engine to crank over and the car starts but you are limited to the reserve capacity your battery have so again the more the higher is this the better is the battery if I go buy a battery right now I live in cold area I will really I'm concerned about this and I'm not gonna get this less than that. usually it, the, spe the specs it says 525 for a specific car like for a four-cylinder small car Corolla or a Hyundai or uh, accent it says 525 but I usually go maybe 650 700 whatever if the colder the area I live in I would like this to be higher okay and if I usually like to uh, to sit around and uh, listen to radio while the car is off I need this to be higher so this is the energy stored it gives you 100 minutes to, to drain 25 amps as explained before uh, one the last thing it's the the amp hour this one here and you can see 20 hours it says uh, rate and 555 uh, this means or this is refer refers to the energy stored in the battery it means continuous delivery of energy for 20 hours at 80 degrees Fahrenheit without falling below 10.5 volt for a 12 volt battery so this is talking about the 20 hours of how many amps can a battery deliver okay so at this case 55 you can do the math there is a way to do math of this but I'm just giving you general explanation what these number means what they refer to you don't have to focus a lot on scientific uh, numbers or math or or, uh, or physics this is very much a mean higher these higher the higher these numbers the higher the cranking amps the colder cranking amps and the higher the RC the stronger the battery this is a simple English okay so in conclusion if you live in a colder climate, you need to consider CCA and RC. Focus on these two things after you decide what brand battery you want to buy, uh, the size of the battery that fits your car, top or side terminal. Just consider these two numbers. That's why you can see here, these are the most number they have to show it to you on, on the battery. It says R RC and CCA. Cold the crank and AMS 525. The higher again, the better. Uh, RC reserve capacity is a uh, hundred minute so you could go higher on this no it would, will not hurt uh, or they're gonna only hurt your 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 budget or your pocket but eventually you're gonna be happy with a higher reserve capacity and a CCA I hope I was able to explain to you um, enough uh, so this way when you make a decision on buying a new battery you understand what to look for uh, in the future thank you for watching